11 years ago, my husband Steve and I were blessed with our only child, Lucas, and he has been the greatest gift we could ever receive. Um, I call him our miracle child, and he is very special in many ways. He's entertaining, witty, he dazzles us with his artistic talents, um, his academic achievements. He moves us with his kindness and honesty. But most of all, he has taught us how to be compassionate towards others. He teaches us every day how to slow down and save our life. And he makes us very proud every single day. So, to tell you his Ph. journey, please welcome my son, Lucas Van Warmer. Hi. Um, my name is Lucas Van Warmer and I'm 11 years old and I'm in sixth grade. <clears throat> my dad, Steve, is from Flint, Michigan. My mom, Marina, is from, uh, was born in Argentina. Uh, I'm an only child, and I like it that way. <laughs> because I don't have to share with brothers or sisters. My friend Aaron at school said I have the best life because I have straight A's, I have a cell phone, I have an afro, and I don't do PE. <laughs> I don't go to PE at school because I have primary pulmonary hypertension. When I first heard that I had PH, I was four years old. I was worried and nervous. I did not know what PH was or what it meant. When I was really young, I went to the doctor a lot. My pediatrician thought I had asthma. My mom would always notice I had blue lips. I would get cold a lot and I, would t and I had to use an inhaler to breathe. But that didn't work because it was not asthma. One November morning, exactly seven years ago this week, I was, feeling, I was feeling a little sicker than usual. My dad took me back to the pediatrician. The doctor wanted to make sure I didn't have fluid in my lungs, so she suggested a, so she suggested a chest x-ray. Well, my lungs were clear and I didn't have the flu, but getting that x-ray was a stroke of luck because the x-ray took a picture of my heart, which the pediatrician said was enlarged. She said we had to... She, she said we had to go to a kid's cardiologist right away. One night, I remember waking up at 2 in the morning with pain smack in the middle of my chest. Chest. It was a pain I had never felt before. I got up and went to my parents' bedroom and woke them up and said my heart hurts. It was hard to breathe and I was dizzy. We got dressed very quickly and went to the hospital that's only a few minutes from our house, St. Joseph's Hospital. I was in a hospital bed getting many shots of medicines, all the things happening at once. At once. I still didn't know what pH was. Then the doctor said I needed to go to another hospital and that was my first ambulance ride. I was scared and I wanted my mom to come with me. The ambulance, the ambulance drove really fast and my mom almost threw up. <laughs> <laughs> the paramedic had to help her breathe. We got to the new hospital at UCLA. They know what to do. We love UCLA. I met Dr. Juan Alejos, who was really nice for a doctor, and he made me very comfortable. He explained all about pH to my parents and me, and he told us that it was very serious. He would give me medicine to make me feel better. To get a proper pH diagnosis, kids or adults have to go to a hard cath lab, where the doctors put you to sleep and they use tools to go inside the arteries of your neck, which travel all through your body into your heart. Then they test different pH medicines directly to your heart to find out what medicines you respond to. Those medicines can be pills or inhalers or even pumps, which feed the medicine permanently into your test, to chest. Lucky for me, Dr. Leo said I responded to oral medication. He prescribed two pill types of pills for me, Revadio and Triclear. He also said I needed to have an oxygen machine at home and an oxygen tank at school. Back then, I wasn't used to taking medicine. But now I can swallow three pills in one go. <laughs> Looking back, 
I was so grateful I was sick that one day, because after all those months of struggling, getting that x-ray was the key to my pH diagnosis. After I came home, I had to do stuff that didn't take a lot of energy, like no running, no playing tag, and no bicycle riding. My dad got me an electric scooter, which was awesome, <laughs> but I crashed it against the wall at the end of the block on the first day. Yeah. Well, I wasn't too happy with him because I got a bloody, bloody lip. <laughs> When I went back to preschool, I had to take the oxygen tank. Oxygen tank. I was embarrassed, and I didn't want to think. To, I didn't want the kids to think I was different. But my friends didn't care that I had to put on oxygen. They cared about me, and they wanted me to feel better. Many times, they would not join the games outside so they could stay with me, and not leave me out. After I started my pH therapy, my life began normal again, or more normal. My pH medicines helped me so much. I felt like a different kid. My body got healthier and stronger over the years. Today I can do a lot more things than I could years ago. Now only, I only take your clear, and last year I started a new therapy at Circa. I take one pill a day instead of taking my body off four times a day. Three years ago I started taking more classes. Uh, here's some of my latest word. <laughs> I'm pretty good at cartooning. And I love drawing with pencil the most. Uh, at one recent art show, an artist from Universal Cartoon Studios said she really liked my stuff. I, I have always loved reading. I used to read Diary of a Movie Kid and Captain Underpants. Now I just finished Stephen King's The Shining and just started it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I have a lot of hobbies. I like taking nature hikes. I enjoy the ocean and going to the beach. And I like building Legos. The more pieces, the better. And I love making stop motion movies with them. <laughs> my, favorite, my, favorite, my favorite food is sushi. And my parents won't take me out to sushi restaurants too often because my taste is too expensive. <laughs> Six years ago, I went to Texas to, to attend my first PH conference. PHA hosts co conferences every two years. In Every two years, the doctors, patients, and their families from all over the world get together to learn more about the disease. That was the first time I met other kids with PH. I learned that other kids had the same problems as me. I became, friend I became friends with some boys like Ian Hess. Mostly, we enjoyed the field trips and playing Wii in the kids' room. After that, we started going to every conference. We attended one in California, and the last one was in Orlando. It was really fun because we went to all the parks. The weather was really different, and we also got to co-host the PHA fashion show. All the girls loved my hair. <laughs> <laughs> the conference in Orlando was also special because it was about how the Pulmonary Hair Protection Association began many years ago, and how these four ladies started it around their kitchen table. I got to meet three of those founders and hung out with Dorothy Olson, Pat Patton, and Judy Simpson. Cool last name. It was important to me that I got to meet Dorothy, who we honor here tonight, because she had PH and she got to live until she was 88 years old. I also like to be involved in activities that support kids with PH. Every year, my family and I participate in the Taylor's Wish 5K. I take my scooter and go in 5K, no problem. <laughs> we really like the Caffrey family, who hold the rights in memory of their daughter, Taylor. We do, a lot of, we do a lot to raise money for pediatric pH research. The 5K is always around Mother's Day in Orange County, California. Hope you all can come this spring. It's a fun-filled day for the whole family. Last year, I was the child ambassador for the race. And they even put in a fountain in honor and in memory of pH patients. Here's my break. Because the Taylor's Wish walk was advertised in the news, I got to be on TV. The news came to our house and interviewed me. They interviewed Dr. Lejos on the craft race, too. I was excited to be in the news because seeing myself on TV was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and last August, I attended my first summer camp called Camp Del Corazon that Dr. Lejos told me about. It was a four-day summer camp filled with activities on Catalina Island. I didn't know anybody there, and it turned out to be a summer camp for kids with various heart diseases. And I was the only one with a lung disease. On the, first night of, uh, on the first night of the camp, we talked about our diseases and we got to, to know more about each other. Then for the full three days, our group did very exciting things like archery, 
canoeing, wall climbing, hiking, and even snorkeling. I made a lot of great friends, and I suggest any kids with heart or lung disease go there. My dad, Steve, is a voiceover actor and a producer at Fox. Over the past couple years, he taught me how to be a voiceover actor like him. He is also on the board of trustees at PHA. He is really good at his job, and he thought of creating a number of public service announcements for PHA, so more people could be aware of what PHA was and that we need to find a cure. About a year and a half ago, we created a really cool spot of pediatric pH research. My dad and his friends from work created the music and the graphics, and I did the voiceover. My dad's friend, Lyle, right who, designed, who designed the look of all of the PHA's public service announcements, even flew up here from Los Angeles. Thank you, Lyle, for helping us make these great spots and for all you've done for PHA. That first spot we made talk about all the PH kids I've met on my PH journey and our hope for the future. After the commercial was released, a lot of people started sharing it, not just around the web, but around the world, which has been great for pH awareness. But another interesting, another interesting thing started to happen. People started calling me for more and more voiceover jobs. <laughs> <laughs> Since then, I've done radio commercials for Target, SeaWorld, Fruit of the Loom, and a number of Fox TV shows. I recorded an episode of Clarence for Cartoon Network, and I got to work with the guy who plays Spongebob, Tom Kenny. <laughs> it was so fun. And this Christmas, I'm going to be the voice of Macaulay Culkin in a Home Alone episode of Family Guy. <laughs> Don't worry, my mom doesn't let me watch that show. <laughs> now I get more voiceover jobs than my dad, by the way. It's very jealous. <laughs> Thanks to the continued support of PHA and pediatric pH research and people like yourselves, we had to make a new version of, P of the PSA we created 18 months ago because two, two new medicines got approved by the FDA last month. I'm happy to premiere our, our newest PSA here tonight. You get to see it here first. Roll it. <laughs> Until 1995, there were no pulmonary hypertension treatments available. Today, there are 11 medicines for adults, but none have been approved for children with pH. That's why PHA is committed to funding groundbreaking pediatric research by supporting the Robin J. Barst Pediatric Research and Mentoring Fund. You will strengthen the Pulmonary Hypertension Association's ability to educate and train the next generation of pediatric pH specialists. Make a gift today for the good of all children and their families living with this complex, chronic, and currently incurable lung disease. Together, we can create a bright future and help provide hope for children with PH. Hope for Shannon, Ian, Katie Grace, Maddie, and me, Lucas. The Pulmonary Hypertension Association, empowered by hope. To learn more, visit phassociation.org slash barstool. Closing, I'd like to leave you with my hope for the future. My greatest wish is to find a cure for all the types of pH, so that no one, young or old, will have to go through life breathless. I really want to thank you all for being here tonight. Thank you for your support of PHA. Thank you for supporting the Robin Barst Pediatric PH Research Fund. Thank you for honoring the memory of Dorothy Olson. I'm grateful to her for helping her lay the foundation of PH, which has been so helpful for me and my family. I appreciate you listening to my PH journey.